confident. He's delivering the football on time. They don't look overmatched to me. The creativity in the pocket, being able to sling the ball, I like what I'm seeing from them. And Fresno has their hands full tonight. That was a big scamper for Brumfield to help get them in range. And now they cap the seven play 60 yard drive here. And this redshirt freshman has a lefty laser. Perfect strike there to Steve Jenkins, the junior from L.A., gets his first touchdown catch of the year. Yeah, and he knew where he was going all the way. It was quarterbacks for the Rebels. Brumfield on third and eight. Let's it fly to the outside and snare. Jenkins, who has the touchdown, FBS currently. Under six to go here in the opening quarter. And they get it to the speed man on the outside. And that is Collins, who had that punt return, return negated by the flag earlier. A number of that contingent there. We got to notate. We'll get to that in a second. On first and 10 to the outside. Short passing game working here for UNLV. Ooh. It's complete. And Williams thumping his man down. They're going to pistol here, so they're going to hand it off to Chuck Williams, it seems like. Williams gets the call. And he'll Easy. score. Charles Williams with another touchdown. Third of the season. He's seven. And Hayner, who's converted over 70% of his passes this year, just one of six so far for 13 yards. So they go on the ground. The air last week, but they had 200 as well in the neighborhood of the ground. Rivers got a lot of that last week with 100. 30 plus in a couple of scores against UCLA with a couple of strong plays to begin this drive to get to rebel territory Hayner under pressure tripped up good pursuit and the tackle there Adam plant gets him in the backfield behind Hayner plenty of time this time and fires a dart diving reception there by Wheatfall Fourth and one. They're four of six converting fourth downs of the Bulldogs. And they'll get another here in the quick out, especially against UCLA. Were they able to carve up the Bruins? Close to 600 yards in total offense. The end around here. Josh Kelly wrestled out of bounds by Bryce Jackson, but another big explosive play here for the Bulldogs. To try the field goal here. 25 yarder is up and through front of him and make the tackle. Coach Inge sporting the shades on the sideline. Looking to see if his defense can shine bright here on third and four. Yes, they can. Big time sack for the Bulldog D. Perales and Atkins all in the mix. Including this bunch of Bulldogs. Hayner on first down. Rockets to the outside and Cropper tied up, held up. And they'll get Aaron Lewis, it seems, for the interference. I didn't hear that it was a pass interference, but he was in good position. There's no reason to. It looks like it was on on Cropper. It should have been. I didn't really see it on the defensive back. Guys that are interchangeable, you can't get a beat on them. Hayner extending the play, moving with his legs, wrapped up by Winman. Well, this team has worked. End of the half, end of the game, two-minute stuff. Another opportunity here, and a touchdown. Eric Brooks, Hayner spots him, 18 yards. Mark, and now looking to find on the two. Razzle-dazzle, direct snap to Rivers. So Cropper trying to take it himself and cut down. Excellent read by the D from UNLV. The timeout, well worth it. The football game. From the 20. And the redshirt freshman slings it to the outside, complete. And there's Collins in space, jetting down the He's field. Gone. Tyreek Collins going to take it to the house. And he'll pose a little bit on the way in. 80 yards for the score. And the Rebels stunning the crowd here and the dogs to start half number two. Smith, he worked with those guys, so he understands how to put a defense out there and what it should look like to have success. Rivers shaking free on third and one and getting more than that in the UNLV territory. Having the goods on goods, the starters against the starters to really replicate game tempo in practice every day. Hard with the young team to try to build that depth. Hainer to the outside from the 30. 
shot to the right side. What a catch, Trey Watson turning around and snatching it. First and goal, Bulldog. Hainer and company late. Second and goal. Open, cut, touchdown. What a grab by Carapa. Cover in football. It's a seven route from the slot. You see how much area he has to work with before he gets to the sideline? Helmet to helmet with the crown of the helmet. We play on second and eight here for UNLV. From the 36, Friel flagged down and dragged down. Kevin Atkins in position for his fourth sack of the season. Three for Fresno State. And he struggled to get it all in in the COVID shortened season. The arm ball deep. Got it on the money. We fall inside the 25 yard line. Another explosive detonation play for Fresno State. And they're calling these plays out of timeout. And the initial, it was supposed to go to Jalen Cropper, but Wheatfall had the corner beat so bad. On third downs here in this one. Hayner sees a target. It's an open target. It's a touchdown target. Jalen Cropper for the go-ahead score. Offense and rhythm and scoring touchdowns. What about the two? It's not there again. Ball thrown short of the goal line. Wheatfall can't get in. Austin Ajake able to handle his business on the tackle. First dibs on the transfer portal, so they're pretty much an NFL team out there. They should be, um, you know, the head's favorite to win the championship this year. Play action for Hayner to the outside, and that is Josh Kelly climbing the ladder to snag that one. Offense average 11 yards per play in that quarter. Hayner rolling to the outside. Eric Brooks, one of the eight receivers deep into the play clock for the Bulldogs. To the outside. Weedfall sheds a tackler. Yards after the catch. And it's another one good enough to move the chains in this attack. Dumped down here. Powell's had one. Has another rumbling inside the 25. To get uh, Jalen Cropper the ball on the slant. But other than that, you can't get a beat on him. There's so many guys that do so many things great. Like this guy. Cropper again. Touchdown. That's his third touchdown on the night. And you have to know if you're UNLV that they're going to give him the football. And that's a phenomenal catch. Getting your foot in. Keeping control of the ball. Ah, I really can't tell there either. You know, we're going to have to get, you know, another look at it. That one, from my vantage point, looks like it might be white cleat on white sideline. But, man, he tried to get that quick toe down. Asked in the words of his offensive coordinator to the get that. on the field of a touchdown. Stands a stall. And after they looked like they had him pinned in there, on that third down play, and the freshman kept it alive. Now trying to look live with the arm. Complete to the deep side of the field. Jenkins twisting around the defense. Beat Braylon Lux. First and goal, UNLV. In the red zone on the season, they've been there 10 times. Scored all 10 times. And they may score again. Touchdown, Courtney Reese. UNLV is a two away from tying the school. Here for Fresno State as UNLV tries to get the two. Flag down, pass overthrown as they look for Paolo out of the flat. Can have a big game, and Jalen Cropper has been a beneficiary of that tonight. Just two of seven at the start for 25 yards. Since then, 23 of 29, almost 300 in the air, four touchdowns. Going deep again. In the hands and outs of Eric Brooks. Like it's and it's baby. intercepted. Tipped the return for Phillip Hill on the prowl. Threat where he can come down and thump you, but he's getting better in coverage. And Jake Hayner tried to go for it all there. He had an opportunity to ball bounce off his receiver into the hands of Phillips. And he's trying to make some yards, running back the other way. Huge play for UNLB's dude. Called for it. UNLV in Bulldog territory. Another running back screen. Williams 
Roaming free again to the 15 and out. Charles, Charles Williams having a feast on the ground. Try from 30 yards for the lead. Splits the sticks. And the guy who's been money for UNLV upset by fall. Winless UNLV lost by 45 to Iowa State last week at home. And now here on the road against a top 25 team with the lead with under seven left. Over the middle. Easy pitch and catch there. Authored by Hayner in the offense in that final three minute stretch. This time to the end zone. Open again. Cropper again. Number five with touchdown number four in a row for the Bulldogs. The seven point game. UNLV is stuffed. A pair of two point tries. Make it three in a row. Right up the gut for the carry for Williams on first down. Magyar set back to the right of the freshman Friel, who's been in the majority of the half. Ball loose. Bulldogs try to get on it. Kwame Jones is looking for the football first and foremost. Sack secondly. You see it there. Swiping the ball out, allowing for his guys to fight for it under the pile. And able to curve it through inside the right upright. To the outside, nothing doing. Mosby disruptive again. Five to extend the drop. Friel to the outside, incomplete. As they look to kill the clock again here. That's the best formation in football if you're on the winning side. Well, Kalen DeBoer going to survive here. Bulldogs will improve to four and one as they dodge a stiff challenge from UNLV tonight. Marcus Arroyo and company. The quest for win number one for him as a head coach and on this season will continue. But the effort outstanding. The Bulldogs with a little bit more tonight.